What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the Ottawa Senators. Uh, Ottawa Senators prospect Colin White electing to go back to Boston College for a sophomore year. Talked about this a few months ago, but I figured I'd dish on it again because he confirmed it again this week at uh, Senators rookie camp. Um, you know, I think it's a smart move for him. You know, he had a really good freshman year with uh, with Boston College, and you know he'll be looking to get back next year and you know BC to get back to the Frozen Four. So that's that's obviously. A, uh, a big incentive, and I think you look at it, you know, he's, I think he had off-season wrist surgery, so he's rehabbing his injury, he'll be ready to go by the time camp opens up, so, or, you know, by the time the season opens up for, for BC, and, you know, I think one more year at the college level, be, you know, probably the focal point, excuse me, for Team USA at the World Juniors, I think that's, uh, you know, I think those two positives definitely work out for Ottawa. I think they're a lot happier with his development than they am with Shabbat's. Uh, both first rounders in the same draft. I know that was kind of a uh, topic of conversation among people in the hockey community in the last few uh, last few days and weeks. But, you know, I, I think it's anytime you're talking about teenage prospects, it's it's a marathon, not a sprint. So, you know, we'll see uh, see what happens. But, again, I like White going back to BC. And uh, do I think there's a correlation between Ottawa bringing back Chris Kelly on a minimal deal and Colin White going back? No, because I think White, if he wasn't ready for the NHL, if he signed and wasn't ready, he could play in the AHL, so I don't think that was an issue. Um, I, I'd be intrigued by you know Kelly being like a, a mentor figure for White, but that's say the handle of this. So again, I think it's just a uh, good, solid career decision for him, and fans in Ottawa need not worry. This will not be a Jimmy Vizzi situation. So you're you're good in that regard, but you know we'll see uh see how it all shakes itself up. That's just my new catchphrase lately. But uh, again, I expect a very good sophomore year from BC. Expect him to be one of the better players in all of hockey East, and uh, we'll see uh what happens. Anyway, that's all I got. Episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Hey guys.